Hey everybody, Coach LaWarna here again with another diagram. Like I always say, I create them because it's one of the gifts that God has given me and I use them as teaching tools to help people to fight spiritual warfare, you know, weed out counterfeits, um, healing, all that stuff. So this one is questions to weed out the counterfeit. Now, I hope that you guys really, really take these questions in because the Holy Spirit gave them to me and I was really asking, you know, what's really, really important for people to ask when they're dating and they're trying to get to know people who say that they walk with God, who say that they're believers. So look at these questions. So how long have you been delivered? If so, if like they say, yeah, I'm, I'm delivered. If so, how long ago and what was your deliverance process? Do you have fruit of the spirit? If so, what fruit is God currently developing in you? How does that fruit benefit the kingdom of God? What is the most challenging aspect of your Christ walk? What is your kingdom assignment? How will you fulfill that assignment? with your wife or husband in marriage. Cause remember these people saying they want to get married and they want to settle down. So you got to ask these things. So what's the difference between a godly man slash woman, whoever you're speaking to or a religious man or woman, what's the difference between believing in God versus walking in God. Now these questions, every believer should know every person who says that they walk with God, they've been doing it for years should know they should have these questions like pretty readily available because they walk with him daily. Also, you want to make sure that you pray and ask for the Holy Spirit's guidance before you ask the person this question, uh, these questions. And also you want to make sure that you know the answers to them as well. Like, you know, you don't want to trip anybody up. That's not the intention, but you want to make sure that this person is truly, truly walking with God. It's not just something that they're saying to deceive you. Um, these questions don't have to be asked all at once. You could ask them, you know, as you feel comfortable, as you feel, you know, that those are needing. You don't have to ask all of them. You can ask all your, you know, you can, you know, mix and match how you feel. And you, you know, you need to. And just make sure that you're paying attention to this person's reactions as you're asking these questions. Whether you do it all over the phone, pay attention to how they're breathing, their tone changes. And pay attention if you're doing it in person to how they react physically, because that's going to tell you a lot as well. People give themselves away all the time. We just have to pay attention.